What is going on guys? Scott here with some more Narrated Thought Duels. Today I'm using the illustrious Demon's Great Axe. Now the Demon's Great Axe is... It's okay. It's actually not too bad. Um, back when the game first came out, like, before, you know, I really knew the whole defense formula, I really thought that things with split damage were just, like, unusably bad no matter what. And it turns out that's not really the case because there's a certain threshold of split damage to where if you have a certain number, I believe it's like if you have like above 130 or something like that um, of a damage type, you start getting increasing returns in the amount of damage that actually goes through. So, for example, if you have like some, if, if that uh, fire damage instead of 176, if that fire damage was like 125 or something like that, it would actually only do about 30 to 40 damage after damage mitigation. So it's like nothing. However, once you go up to about, you know, 160 then you start getting maybe 60 to 70 damage out of it. So the ratio of damage to actually damage going through goes up a lot once you get the high, uh, higher damage. So weapons that have very tiny amounts of split damage still are pretty bad. Um, that's why Drake Blood hits like a noodle unless it's buffed. However, um, if you have a uh, weapon that has a lot of base damage on something like that, then it's a bit different. Oh, that, that roll catch, baby. And uh, the weapon art of this thing is Demonic Flare, which, like the Dragon Slayer Great Axe, is really slow and pretty hard to hit people with, but it's pretty fucking hilarious if you do hit him with it, so you can try it. Oh, only hit him with R2 so far. What is this? Now, I would assume that since this is like uh, most Great Axes, it's not going to stun on a two-handed R1, so I would like to confirm that, but I don't understand why it would be any different. Yep, does not. Okay, cool. So we're going to want to one-hand it. Now, 381's not bad. It's a bit less than, um, like, you know, Yorm's Machete or something like that. But it's still, it's definitely manageable for sure. And it's not something that, uh... I mean, because, let, let's see. You really only need to do, let's see, if I'm doing 380, basically 400, 400 times 2. Mm, no, that's actually not at the sweet spot. That's like four combos, or th three combos I would need. That's okay. Because there's a sweet spot if you're doing about 430 damage a hit. Uh, no one can live through two combos. Eh, I thought I could get my... Uh, that. Ooh, God. Rolling attack seems super weak, though. 244. Jeez. Like a straight sword. Don't want that to happen again. Eh. Maybe I should half charge those R2s. Eh. Even then, it's a little too short, so he's out of range. Mm. Oh, it still doesn't matter. He was in range, too. Unfortunately, iframes and Dark Souls 3, you can just fucking roll through whatever you want, so. Mm. Rolling R2, maybe? Oh, could have been. Damn it. Thought I was actually in range for once of the, the shitty rolling R1. Oh, boy. We're hurting now, boys. Actually, got ballsy. Weird. Maybe I can just do three in a row, let's say. No. Hmm, okay. I'm trying to find out what kind of pattern he's got, if any. Ah, uh, if rolling R1 only does 200 damage, it won't kill him. I need to two hand this shit. Just staying out of range. I think I can tank one more, maybe. Actually, no. Now, now he's got too much health. I could try parrying that. Damn it, I tried roll catching there, didn't work. Parrying would work. Mmm. Man, this intro fight's taking way too long. Ooh, he rolled twice that time. Weird. Alternatively, I can just swing when he's doing his rolling attack and just fucking hit him. Ah, oh, that's what I get for hard doing. Mmm, I should have just done a regular R1. 
but it only does 200 damage on rolling attacks for some strange reason. Don't know why. Wait, <laughs> will he actually fall for the... Hold on. Will he actually fall for it? I think he might actually fall for it, let's see. Oh my god, he actually fell for it. <laughs> the amount that I overestimate players is just, I don't know. Oh god. No, I mean, he, he, he still played it pretty well, but... Charged R2, parry bait, man. Why the fuck does it still work? Oh yeah, yeah, Jesus. Six minutes for one fight. That was frustrating. So, things I learned from that one is the rolling R1 one-handed kind of sucks. Uh, the damage is pretty good, but... I'm sorry, the, uh, like, the, uh, the speed and hyper armor is good, but 240 damage is, uh... That is really low. That's like a... That's like less than a straight sword regular R1 on a great axe with 708 AR. That's like... That math doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> even it even has more physical damage than that, and that means it has like a, it's got a negative damage modifier on its rolling attack or, or something. I don't know. So we need to not roll eye on that very often. So, um, most of my hits there were actually R twos though. So um, he knew the dodge timing of R ones a little too well. So I think I should probably hold it a little bit though, because the attack speeds are almost the exact same. Oh wait, shit. I need my juice. Right. That store is, eh? Mm. Mm, nice. Smart. Oh, man. Thought I had it. I need a one hand, actually, if I want to combos. That's not going to go well. That sucks. He attacked, like, at the worst time. I just one error. I went back to two-handed really quickly there as soon as I saw the Cessus come out. Hmm. I gotta remember, I cannot roll catch this man. Whatsoever. Because he is using his stores. And just because he hasn't... Yeah, just because he hasn't done it yet doesn't mean I can't... Uh, doesn't mean he won't. So I need to be very careful. God, we're all up in each other's face like this. Look at this. <laughs> this <is a> stupid <laughs> fight. <laughs> GG. <laughs> God, I hate hyper armor battles. They're so stupid. <laughs> oh, man. GG, though. Man, it really sucks not being able to two-hand this thing. And it's just like... It's so counterintuitive because I guess the Great Axe class is... After 67 months, it's still bugged. And they don't combo in the two-handed R1s. Um... So, you have to use the one-handed R1, but then you do significantly less damage, so... Kind of sucks. But, hey. Yeah, I mean, I, I go from 708 AR to... 7... Or 674. So, I lose, like... 30... Like, what? 30... I use 34 AR, which is... That's pretty significant. That's a, that, that's a good chunk. Especially when you have split damage, that is a good chunk. Oh, well. Like, I don't know what's slower, Charged R2 or Demonic Flare. I feel like the only time you ever want to use uh, Demonic Flare, the only one you want to try to use it, is if you've seen that they're uh, panic rolling into you a lot. If they roll away from you, it's just they can be 20 feet away by the time it actually goes off, so... You gotta study how they move. What do we got? Claymore? Oh, sorry. Build also, you'd want uh, 66 strength, 9 dex, and then the base int and faith requirements. Doesn't really have any uh, dex bonus. Eh, it rolled too far. Damn. You want to time that at the very last second so you clip through the model and you get your... Uh... Oh, I win that treat, sir. Oh, I thought he blew up his stamina. That's all of his stamina, but now I can't punish it. Damn it. Actually, my ball was stamina again. Damn, now. Mmm. What? I really should have just parried him there. I'm trying to get a roll back, Stabon. I'm trying to get quicker at that. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. That was my armor. Weird. What the? Don't 
kick me. Damn it. <laughs> it's so hard to do. The great X. You should go for backstabs, though. I mean, bust out the Dark Souls 1 strats. It is uh, quite painful. Wow. He's he's really pushing it. <laughs> what the fuck? He just kept like running right on the outside of the range. Trying to not... Not waste his precious stamina on his 76 rolls that you get in this game. I don't know why he kept trying to do that, but whatever. So it sucks because I wanna I wanna keep the weapon one-handed very frequently. Because that's the only way I can actually get combos on my hits and make trading actually worthwhile. But by doing that, I can no longer do demonic flares, so it's kinda like a I don't know. It's a weird trade-off. Alternatively, I could only try R2s. But then even then, that does like 480 damage versus 750 with uh, two R1s, so it's a weird trade-off. It's almost like a weapon art shield might be useful with it, if you even want to try Demonic Flare. It's it's really hard to hit people with. It's really, really hard to hit people with. The only way I can see it reliably hitting is if like you get them in a corner like this and then you do it like right in their face. Because it has like a lingering hitbox and an AoE, so if they're in the area, they can't roll through it forever. Unless maybe they have Blood Ring or something. But still. Spear, this is gonna suck. Speed and range over no speed and no range. Ow. Did a lot of fucking damage, actually. Oh, I guess he's got a resin on. He had a resin on. Yeah, see, even when I do a charge or two like that, it's still not enough because you can just roll away twice. Even that—that that was a half charge or two. Mm, I, I maybe could have backstabbed there. It's a little scared. Oh wow, the balls! Oh, it's the uh, it's the long spear. I'm an idiot. Like, how the hell do you just do a, a lance charge? Ow. Guy's a bit too aggressive against the hyper armor weapon. God, that poor man is shitty running R1. It's so bad. Ah, oh, I pushed him out of range because this thing is very short. Ah, oh, man. That is a much longer recovery than I thought. Like, I did that parry probably a full second before you actually saw it, but the recovery was insanely high. Damn. Still my fault. What are you doing, friendo? That was unnecessarily risky. Hmm. Oh, he stole time to roll away somehow. Latency, I guess. That should be a roll catch. Or not. Damn. It's so hard to know when you're going to roll catch someone when you have a uh, higher latency. Ah. Basically, I need to be swinging before he swings a single time. So that's, like, nightmarishly hard. Basically, just luck at this point. There we go. That was just, it was just pure luck. We happened to swing at the exact same time. That's the only reason I killed him there. That's why I'm, I've never been a fan of, like, hyper armor weapons. Because a lot of it relies on luck and you swinging the exact same time. Because if you have anything but perfect latency, his animation started before you even see it. Which means by the time you actually connect, even though it looks like you're hitting him, he's rolling away in his screen and he's in iframe. So, you'll, like, you'll hit him. He'll still be just standing still on your screen. You'll hit him. You'll hear the blood sound. And nothing will happen. And then they'll roll away. That is the uh, perfect example of animation desync. So... When you're hitting him like that, he's actually already rolling away on his screen. That's why it's so damn hard to hit people with slow weapons, because you need to hit them before they actually... You need to hit them before their animation of rolling even starts. It's 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 hard. On higher latency, rather. It's a lot easier on uh, good connections, though. Alright, what we got? Um, stores, damn it. Oh, that just made me very upset. It's not a stores at all. It's a claymore. That made me so sad. <laughs> that sucked so much. Might be able to roll away here now. So this is an example of where two-handing might actually be a good idea. Because I'm never really going to get two hits on him anyway. 
because he's going to get a little bit of hyper armor with his uh, swing, so I might as well just get the most damage I can out of my regular R1s. Or R2s, rather. So yeah, this is a good example of where actually 2 anding it is the better choice. Because, um, you know, it's like when he swings with his greatsword, now the, the great X hyper armor takes priority over it, which means I won't get stunned and he will get stunned, but he gets stunned for a very short duration, so it, he might as well not get stunned. It doesn't matter because he can still roll away after one hit. So in that scenario where you're fighting another uh, hyper armor weapon, um, doing a two-handed uh, R1 is actually probably the better choice because you're not going to be able to hit two R1s regardless if, if you're one-handing or two-handing because they're in like their uh, minor hyper armor frame. So against like a uh, a great sword or probably like a glaive class weapon would have the same type of hyper armor, you'd probably want to primarily two-hand the thing. Now you know. Also, this is the first of probably like four videos I'm recording in a row and editing in a row and then having scheduled uploads because uh, tomorrow I'm going to TwitchCon and or dying horribly in a plane crash. So um, this is, is going to be a lot of Dark Souls. <laughs> so I would imagine by the fourth video in the series, I'm just going to be like, fuck this game. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. I hope I don't get to that point. Friendo, where are you? Please do me. <sighs> do I have any like fire bombs? Nope. Just an AFK guy. I put my sign down going an AFK. That's cool. I want to test demonic flare damage anyway. Let's see how much it actually does. Man, g game must be super dead or something for you to put your sign down and have enough time to, like, go AFK and just not, like... Just because it takes so long. All right, let's see. Full demonic flare. 750. Not great. Eh. Fuck you, guy. God, it still didn't fucking kill him. Oh, good. Now he's here. Why did I do so little damage? Jeez. I guess, like, magical damage doesn't matter for backstabs or something. I don't know. God, that was weak. That was so weak. That did my AR in damage. That's that's not right. Oh, well. Oh, good. Now I'm getting inv invaded by fucking Aldrich Faithals because I had to chase this shit. Oh, good. Now quick stepping as well. Here we go. This is going to be awful. Wait, he's not quick stepping. There we go. I don't know how I'm ever gonna be this. Yeah, I can't. God damn it. I didn't even mean to do par uh, two parries in a row. That was just a Q. Oh good, I just went past them. Someday I'll hit with that. You're not gonna pursue me? Okay, I guess I'll just regen health. Thanks, man. I mean, I'm cool with just regenerating health all day. Is he cheating? And the other guy might have had a climbing ring on. I just let him hit me like six times. That was good. Dude, even if I put a horn ring on it, it won't kill him. Oh, and then I just gave him a free backstab, too, because I thought we were, like, resetting the fight, but I guess not. Hmm. Hmm. This would be a lot closer if I didn't give him a fucking free backstab. Going for risky. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Using all my stem on that. He's got a Morium Blade out too? Jesus. You have a much better shot with a dagger. Uh. Good enough panic rolling though. Oh. 
GG. Whew, that was frustrating. Very frustrating. I'm, gu I'm guessing that Prince guy had like a Calamity Ring on or something, because he took a fucking thousand damage and two dagger hits. <laughs> yeah, do I have a Calamity Ring on? Let's actually check. Yeah, do I have? Th th there's no way he could have taken that much damage otherwise. Um, that's five players. Prince, equipment. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Magic Clutch Ring, Lightning Clutch Ring, Calamity Ring, and Dark Clutch Ring. <laughs> What the fuck? Alright. What a silly man. Invades just to die. But yeah, that uh quick stepping dagger is frustrating to fight. It's really frustrating to fight, especially when the guy knows his like dodge timings and stuff. Because it doesn't matter if you, how it doesn't matter how much you change your timings. It's just a fucking. Oh wait, can I summon this guy too? Damn it, he had a demon great X. Can mirror match. It it doesn't matter how how good you mix up your timing and stuff. I mean, they're in iframes for ninety eight percent of their animation. No amount of skill can account for the slight difference in latency that will change the amount of frames that they're actually active. It's is this pretty luck based, honestly. So it sucks. Oh my God. All over my dick. I hit him apparently. Good old Dark Souls hitboxes. Hmm. Yeah, don't blame me, man. That was stupid. Oh, that didn't hit him though. <laughs> Damn it. Yes! The only reason it hit him is because he swung twice as I was charging it up for some reason. Yes. Still not even as good as the Dragon Slayer Great X one, but I think it looks a lot cooler. <laughs> hey, I hit one. It happened. Hooray. Yeesh. Yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. Sorry, I was checking my phone. Let's do it, bruh. Mm. There's the stores. God, it's really hard to free him, that one. I gotta be careful he doesn't parry me too, actually. Because he's all up on my nuts. Oh, he's gonna get the good eye armor, and I didn't, because I hit him right on the very end. That's just unlucky timing, damn. That's a really risky thing you can do. I wanted to see how long we can do that dance. Oh, fine. Damn it. That was risky. Let me see all of my stamina there. Very scared to attack now. Rightfully so. Oh, the perfect half charge R2. Delicious. Feels so good when you hit it. Oh god, roll catching the slow weapon in this game is so rewarding. So that that was a half charge, is about there. This is a regular attack, and this is a half charge. It's a little different, but that's the only difference you actually need to be able to catch people, so. Feels good, man. Feels good, man. Mm-mm-mm. Don't know why I did that. That's not the thing I wanted at all. Let's see, what else do we got? Done that, done that. God, I'm really running out of weapons to do. I've done most of them, actually. The only ones that I have not done are weapons that are just straight copies of other weapons. Like Bandit Axe versus, like, uh, Brigand Axe or whatever. Are those the same thing? 
battle axe versus brigand axe, or yeah, that combination, which is yeah, the other, they're the same item. You know, just things like that. I haven't done like just complete copies because what's the fucking point? <laughs> they're just the exact same thing. So, um, there's there's a few I haven't done left, but man, I'm starting to run out. And I, I'm running out of even possible like cosplay builds too. It's just like there's not much left. Really need that DLC. Fuck. Better great axe. And he hit me in the worst possible time. That is the unluckiest thing that can happen. Gets one more swing at him. Uh... Oh god, I can't see him. <laughs> that was terrifying. Gen right here. No, I shorted it. Ah. Uh... Mmm, shockwave Rooney. Nice R2. I had the right idea, but the weapon's too short to roll catch like that. Oh, really? And he somehow stunned me for two hits. With Yorms. Okay. This guy just fixed Dark Souls. Nice. Good man. Eh. It's not even a good wake up, takes too long. <laughs> Delicious. Dark Souls 1 up in here. Alrighty, last one. Last one. Let's make it count. Let's end them with the demonic flare, even though that's almost impossible. Okay, I'm not gonna hit a mage with demonic flare ever. <laughs> Let's summon not a mage. Uh, so, I mean, overall, it's, it's just basically Dragon Slayer's Great I think the Dragon Slayer's Great X is a bit better, though, because it's got, what, 730 AR? So, it's just like a weaker Dragon Slayer's Great X. That's pretty much it. That's the end, ver er, end verdict. Um, yeah, just less damage overall. However, it does have uh, a cooler AoE effect, so... I think the Molten Magma thing is much cooler than the, uh, the Lightning little... The Lightning bitch shit. Mm, okay, so this is the example where you'd want to two-hand the weapon again. Let's go. You can go for a rollback stab here. Nope. He's not swinging twice. He's smart. <laughs> oh, almost a good catch. what I get. Go back stab. Don't panic roll against that. Mmm. He life ring swap too. So he's at almost full health again. Very nice. Just cannot panic roll against that ever. So I can't swing twice against this. Let's see. Damn, he's definitely good at the roll backstabs. So I haven't really fought any good players today yet, but this guy definitely knows what he's doing. And it goes back to my whole whole reasoning that, you know, great weapons will never be particularly great. Because a good player that can roll backstab you is going to do it every time. Like, this guy's been really, really good with it. Oh, that doesn't even have any forward momentum. Damn, I thought it did. I maybe could have backstabbed him there. I didn't have a horn ring. I don't even have a horn ring. Never mind. Ah, uh, sadly, I need two more, not one more. Let's just start wearing them down with throwing knives. Twenty-one damage. Oh God, right, I have no decks. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, he outranged me. <laughs> he outranged me with the, the fucking, the second R1. Oh man, GG, that well played. Deserve that win. God, this thing is so fucking short. The, the, the Halford, the second R1 was longer range than my regular R1. <laughs> Jeez. Oh well. The guy played it really well. Alrighty guys, that is it for me today. I will see you tomorrow. 
for the next one. Hope you enjoyed, and take it easy, guys.